Tropical Cyclone Ilsa 2023 last modified, 3 o'clock April 12, 2023 UTC This is a dangerous system. Damaging winds, heavy rainfall, storm surge, rough seas, mudslides, and flash flooding are all possible risks. Ilsa is located 346 km northwest of Broome, Australia, and has moved west-southwestward at 9 km per hour, 5 knots, over the past 6 hours. Ilsa will continue tracking towards the southwest for the next 12 hours before turning south, passing close aboard Rowley Shoals, then southeast as it rounds the ridge axis. Once past the axis of the ridge the system will accelerate towards the southeast and is expected to make landfall along 80 mile beach in around 40 hours. After landfall, the system gets caught up in the tight steering gradient and will accelerate as it tracks deep into central Australia. In terms of intensity, the table has now been set for rapid intensification, RI, with shear now at or below 20 km per hour, 10 knots, sea surface temperatures 31 C or higher, ocean heat content increasing down track and poleward outflow steadily improving into the divergent portion of an approaching upper level trough. The only remaining factor is time, time for the convective structure to continue to improve and for the eye to open up and clear out. This is anticipated to occur in the near term, likely within the next 6 to 12 hours. Once that occurs, the gloves will come off and Ilsa will undergo a period of RI or extreme RI, airy, reaching peak intensity of at least 240 km per hour, 130 knots, in 36 hours. It remains possible that the ultimate peak could be slightly higher, occurring just prior to landfall as the system passes over extremely high ocean heat content values just off the coast. Once ashore, the system will slowly weaken at first as it passes over the relatively flat terrain inshore of 80 mile beach. More rapid weakening is anticipated after two days due to rapidly increasing shear and land interaction, with the system expected to dissipate in three days. Track. Guidance is in very good cross-track agreement through our the forecast period, with minimal spread in the model guidance. A long track spread increases after the system turns southeastward as the models struggle with determining the timing and strength of the recurve. A long track spread at landfall is nearly 167 km with the GFS ensemble out ahead of the ECMOF which is much slower. The JTWC forecast most closely tracks the GFS tracker but at a slightly slower pace after 36 hours. Confidence is high in the forecast through the entire period. Intensity guidance is also in good agreement, with all consensus members indicating significant intensification through landfall. The bulk of the RI guidance continues to be triggered, and the COAMPSTC ensemble, TXEPS, RI probabilities remain at 100% over the next 36 hours. Additionally, the AIRI guidance shows a high likelihood of RI, 30 to 40 knots in 24 hours, through the same period just prior to landfall. With these factors in mind, the JTWC forecast continues to call for significant intensification through landfall, with a peak between 240 to 260 km per hour, 130 to 140 knots, with high confidence. Maximum significant wave height is 10.7 meters, 35 feet.